Right guys, so I'm just going to make a quick video of um, basically most of my reptiles. I do have a few still downstairs, but yeah, just take you through. Here we have a white and yellow Max Snow Bell Albino Hep for Eclipse and Hep Radar. Some of them are. I do have a little bit of mess, but breeding season, I don't like to disturb everything too much. There we have a Super Snow Hep Eclipse. And Hep Bell. Here's a little female I've produced this year. She's a striped bell, 66% Hep Eclipse. There's a nice, well, only small part, but down the flanks of her tail, she has a little bit of keratin. Yeah, nice head pattern. And very similar to her mom, which is this next up. Mum is a patternless stripe bell, 100% Het Eclipse, a Het for Radar. So you can see the similarities between them two. And here we have a white and yellow Bell Albino Enigma Het Eclipse. It's a really high white, high white sides. She's got tangerine bloodlines in her as well, so she's um she's been bred this year. Um, she produced to a Max Snow Bell Het Eclipse. She produced three white and yellow Max Snow Bell Enigmas Pos Het Eclipse. This is just a pet only girl. She's an Enigma. Unknown hats. She was basically a gift from a pet shop. So, mm, interesting eyes. If it will focus. No. Nope. All the lids will be securely put down after. Right, this is my young albino royal male. He's nice and stocky, is he? A uh, uh, decent sized multi last night. I purchased him off a local friend, Mark Spikes Balls Spikins, on uh, Facebook. This is also a butter male, what I purchased off Mark yesterday. So. Very nice, I'll see if we can get a bit more light on him. He's going to try and feed him tomorrow. I know he's only been here a couple of days, but he's given the signals that uh, he's quite comfy. This is um, one of my first ever leopard geckos. When I first got them, I didn't know too much about them, so I noticed after a couple of days they were walking really funny, so long story short, I took them to the vets and tread how I could for MBD, as you can see. It, Took its toll on her legs, bless her. But she gets round, she eats fine. And they get higher calcium ratios in the uh, higher D3 ratios rather than just calcium carb. I always have D3 in with that as well, as well as extra in their supplements. Uh, and this is the other girl that I purchased with it. I did have them together for the first few years, but. She was suffering with it at first, but not as bad, but it's like you can see she's, luckily I think we caught her just in time, apart from her jaw structure. But yeah. So there, what started the whole, the whole leopard gecko thing for me. Here we have an African fat tail male, het patternless, well, pos het patternless. He's, doesn't really bother with his mealworm, so... He and this next girl tend to get mainly locusts. Not long about to go into shed by the looks of it. And a bit dusky. These tubs do look small with them hides in. Well, they are quite small tubs anyway, but when I um, introduced the fat tails to these big 32 litre tubs, I had, especially with that male, I had a very hard time getting him to feed. And in the end, I ended up putting him back into a really small tub to get him feeling secure again. So, this is a um, tangerine male African fat tail. Really sweet girl. They're all digging nice and deep at the minute. Yeah, these were all this girl and that male are CB14 to last year's. 
and the pattern list is from the year before I believe. Here is my Underwoodysaurus millii or barking gecko. With a thick layer of substrate of the sand, and the um, there isn't as much heat on her, hence why the tubs pulled forward a little more. So dug a little channel under there. Why is that bloody locust gone? So yeah, basically I use heat cable on my racks, so there's only there's only one. It's pulled forward like that, so there's only one. Heat cable right at the back of the tub, sort of here. So, here's a pick up from last week a red stripe eclipse hat bell. See if we can get any eye shots. So, snake eye on that eye, look. Yeah, there we go. And solid black eclipse eye on that one. Well, she really wants to see the camera, do not she? Really, her tail stood out so much on the photo, so she's actually a lot more colourful than that. She looks really yellow on the camera. There we are, a gem snow het eclipse. No, no, het for no albino. I confirmed that with the breeder I bought her off, and the breeder that actually produced her. So, yeah, I love how lavender. Lavenderish her head is. So yeah, quite a small girl but very feisty. Oh no, I'll see. I'll sort you out shortly. Right, I'm gonna miss a couple of these out because some of these are my uh, pet only geckos, so I'll produce I'll show them in another video. Right, here we have an electric cross to tangerine. She's also Still quite vibrant, but I think a shed's not too far off by how bright she usually is. Yeah, she's a she's a really big girl. She was CB14 last year, but whether it's because she got too fat too quick, I didn't spot any ovulations at all this year, and she always smashes her food. So I have a feeling she's possibly ovulating very very late, but I'm not starting my season up again. So she she'll get a year off. Well, so we got this big dude is a Godzilla snow glow head eclipse. So that's the tremper tremper line. So head raptor, if you want to call it that. We weighed in at 102 grams last week. I've actually got. A, is it that eye? No, that eye. Folks, folks eclipse eye there. Yeah, got nice lavender bands, I must say. Nice big lad. When you compare him to that, and that is a really big snake eyed, as you can see by my fingers. So. so, yeah, and here we've got a Diablo Blanco, female, bought as male, but. Turned out to be female, never mind. My solid eyes. Quite pinkish there, but let's see if she's in a good mood. Yeah. Nobody gave her. She went off her food very early in the season, but. <laughs> so she didn't gain a great deal of weight from. Youngster, she was a bit slow growing. Here we've got a Bell Albino Het Eclipse. Oh, nice bit of tangerine in her. I'm um, unsure whether to keep and work with her or give it to someone else that, well, sell her on to someone else that may use her breeding to full potential. We shall see. Here we have another massive lad. Excuse me. I got round to cleaning it. He was 100 grams last week. 
He's an enigma, het bell, het eclipse and het blizzard. So basically it's het for white knight. The bell version of a Diablo Blanco. Let's see if we can get any more shots. He's got false eclipse eyes too, so nice paradox spot just there. Mm. He was very aggressive during breeding okay. season for some reason. This is my radar girl. A little bit skinny as she was the last one laying this year, so so she's still got a bit bit of weight to put back on. But yeah, solid ruby eyes, nice washed out nose with the eclipse. Yeah, she's a nice girl. And the last one for this rack is a white and yellow. Well, she was sold to me as a white and yellow Bell Albino head eclipse. So the head markings strongly suggest she's white and yellow, but the sides are quite low. There's not much sort of blushing or anything around the the markers on the back. So I'm unsure. I paid a paid more than your average Bell price, but not quite a white and yellow price. So I can't mind too much. She's still got quite a pale neck band, which can also be a bit of a marker. Yeah, the only way to tell is test breeding. Right. Here we have a raptor that is trying to finish her shed. So she's got a little bit on her hands and that, which she'll take care of later. But yeah, solid red eyes. When you can see them. A little bit of ice. Nice, quite big girl. She's CB14. Here we have a Super Raptor. Pos Het Blizzard. So, obviously we're going to my Diablo, Diablo, Diablo Blanco female next year. I'm going to call him Horny because he's got them sort of strange little nodules behind his head. Yeah, again, solid eyes. Nice washed out nose. Hardly any speckles on him really for... Super Snow Tramper Eclipse. Uh, and here we have da, 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 a Mac Radar male. So, I do have two eggs left in my incubator. Uh, attempt sex male from a radar to Mac Bell Het radar pairing. So I could have, have a small chance of producing one. But, um, I had to buy one to just make sure I was set for next year. This is another little one I produced this year, a whole back. It's a male, white and yellow, great high white sides. White and yellow Enigma Bell Het Eclipse, Pos Het Eclipse, sorry. So yeah, with him being an Enigma, you can't really see. Yeah, he's got nice, awesome red eyes. There you go, you can see a little bit there. Yeah, white and yellow Enigma Bell Offset Eclipse. This is a Tangerine Radar male I pro um, produced, purchased at the beginning of the year, well, about three, four months ago. Tangerine Radar male. He's not got a huge amount of Tangerine in him, but put to the right girls, I think we could, we could work, work with that. Over time, here's a gecko I've produced this year as well. This is a striped Max Snow Bell Albino Het Eclipse male. I did take him to a show a week or so ago, and he was on the table. But now, when you see his sister, he won't be paired to his sister. But look how identical they are. So. got a spot halfway down her spine there and he's got one a bit further down well he's got one halfway down his spine she's got one a quarter of the way down but yeah awesome really holding the lavender quite well these geckos are about 40 grams now 35 40 grams so that lavender's not really going to fade away anymore the girl has got perfect stripe from tail tip and then she got the lavender there right to the head so Definitely something I'm going to be working with. Produce awesome lavender radars, hopefully stripes. For some reason, I just really like stripes. 
and as you can probably tell by all the times I've said Bell Albino that Bell was my favourite strain of Albino to work with here's some uh, polygens I, uh, polygenetic line bread traits whatever you want to call them that I purchased to uh, start working with got an awesome bandit she originally came from Gecko Mania. I purchased her off a lad called Aaron Venables from um, Dreamland Reptiles. Bought a basically breeding, not trio. Uh, well, yeah, breeding trio of bandits, and then I bought a bold stripe, possibly, uh, possibly Het Tremper, which I'm going to test at some point, and that is this gill. But yeah. And she has an awesome, awesome, and it's more of a chocolatey colour rather than, rather than a black, but again, line breeding can enhance that. Awesome head pattern. And then we have, so that was the female bold stripe. Here we have my male bandit. Can't really see his head pattern. There we go. Cool solid nose band. Real, real bold markings. Yeah. I'd um I'd seen a few of his posts on his Facebook page and really sort of never thought I'd financially be able to sort of buy a group, but he was getting out of the hobby so I managed to get in there first and asked him if he could let me know first and see what we could do. And he was very very good to me and I drove 100 miles each way to pick them up more. So yeah, and there's another female bandit. She's from... She's Post Giant as well from Ember Geckos. In the, yeah, they're very, very feisty as well, these bandits. Hence why I'm, Oh, there we go. Let's pop that up here.